Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm very excited because in the video today, I'm going to be trying out a brand new boot brand that I've never tried before. This is Jim Green Boots, and they're based in South Africa. Now, I heard recently on the Stitch Down podcast that there are some boot makers in South Africa. Now, this is a scene that I have yet to explore. I'm going to be opening these up, giving my initial impressions, and giving a little bit of an overview about the brand because so far I'm very impressed. So yeah, as you can see, the logo on the front is a Jim Green, it's a frog with a, uh, with a top hat and suspenders and boots. Very clever. Footwear with attitude, I like that. And let's have a look at these bad boys. Very nice. So yeah, right off the bat, they look, they have sort of like a Timberland sort of a look to them. Uh, a very rough, hard wearing boot. They appear to be very wide. This is gonna be a lot wider than what I'm used to seeing in a standard boot. Oh yes, this came with a nice little sticker as well with the frog on it. Love that. All right, so it came with one set of laces. This is gonna be modeled after sort of a hiking boot uh, where the eyelets are basically more or less D-rings, mini D miniature D-rings that, that move and rotate, and then there's three speed hooks at the top. All right, and so this is gonna be their razor back model. As you can see here, it says, it looks like it's branded on the outside of the quarter of the boot, razor back, and it's branded with a uh, hog insignia there. Probably reminiscent of the wild outdoors and using these boots in the wild as they're intended. All right, so I'm gonna read a little bit about Razorback here. So, tough as Africa, built to last. The Jim Green Razorback boot is inspired by Africa, designed to take on the daily outdoor and work challenges that come with the harsh terrain. Its double layer of leather upper combines with a pure rubber sole to give you superior stability, comfort, and grip. For over 30 years, the Jim Green Razorback has been the choice of South Africa's safari lodges and outdoor enthusiasts. Famous for its never-say-die attitude and respected for its durability, no other boot is more versatile. From mountain tops to factory floors, the Razorback is ready for any challenge. Mile after mile, year after year, the Razorback, an old friend you can always count on to get you from here to there in rugged comfort. And so it's manufactured with a double layer of leather, 2.2 millimeter full grain leather lined with 1.6 millimeter calf leather. Double layer of leather aids in the boot's water resistant properties, not waterproof though. Ankle padding for excellent support, comfort and protection. Thermoplastic toe puff and heel stiffener for extra support. A steel shank between the insole board and sole offers extra support and stability. Insole board is secured to the upper with a double stitched 2.2 millimeter braided nylon cord. Sole is made from genuine leather, can be resold. Due to the double layer of leather, the Razorback can tackle all kinds of terrain, making it ideal for the outdoor worker or hiker requiring that little extra bit of toughness. It's built on the JG Last. This is a wide fit last and offers a snugger feel all around. It has a JG sole. This is our lug option and is designed for grip. It is genuine rubber and of a firm feel to provide stability underfoot. Its weight is 1.56 kilograms, laces, 175 centimeters long. I'm American, I don't know what that means. <laughs> the Razorback has a lot of good customer reviews. It's gonna come in brown, tan, and fudge. I got the fudge. Going through the sizing, I settled on a size nine, which is my true to size. And I can say that the length is perfect for my true to size. The width though, I am astonished by the width. The width is very wide in the forefoot here. Now I haven't tried these on yet, but I will. Yeah, so these are gonna be my Grant Stones on the Leo Last in size eight and a half compared to the nine Jim Green. And as you can see, the toe is, is a lot wider, however, the Grant Stones are a lot longer. Now I do have a lot of room in front of my toe on the Grant Stones, maybe three quarters of an inch. So my toe is probably gonna come pretty close to the front of these boots in size nine. And uh, so these are size nine US, eight UK. Yeah, so the scale is gonna be a little different. This is, this is gonna be good because 
I have wide feet, and so I could tell my foot's gonna fit in there. Um, time will tell. I'll throw them on here shortly and give fit give a fit perspective. All right, and so editing me is here, and I just wanted to interrupt my original recording and say that yes, going true to size is what I recommend. I laced these babies up. I walked around in them for about 20 minutes, and I can tell you that yes, they're a little wide, but going true to size is definitely what I would recommend. I would only recommend sizing down a half size if you have a narrow foot. I typically wear eight and a half Alden. I typically wear eight and a half Grant Stone, eight and a half Thoroughgood. I go down a half size for most US boot brands. Uh, NYX whites eight and a half for the Jim Greens. These nines fit perfect. So Jim Green, they reached out to me. They're a very friendly company. I got to speak to them. So they opened up in the US two years ago, They're still finding their feet in the market. They've been operating in South Africa for 30 years and it's family run. Now that I find very commendable. Yeah, so they're based in South Africa. Their factory is located there. Their boots are wide fitting and built rugged. So not everyone's cup of tea, but they have found a little niche in the United States. They've been featured on Carl Murawski's channel, Rose Anvil. Their latest boot that was a major hit was the African Ranger, and it will be featured here again soon. Yeah, the African Ranger is their hit style at the moment, and the one that they will be pushing into the fall and winter, although pretty much all year round, depending on, their, on your day-to-day -day activities. So the African Ranger is similar to the Razorback. The difference is, the African Ranger, I believe, is basically the same model. It's just a little shorter. The African Ranger almost looks more like a shoe, but they also have a tall model as well, which is really cool. The African Ranger is the boot that puts boots onto Rangers. 50% of Rangers don't have access to sufficient boots and gear, and over 40% are required to purchase their own boots. With the future of our wilderness areas in the hands of those with boots on the ground, Jim Green Footwear and the Game Rangers Association of Africa GRAA have come together to make sure this issue is addressed. Inadequate gear for rangers leads to a low morale and affects rangers well-being. With rangers being on the front line of our conservation areas, a quality pair of boots is essential for everyday tasks. We put out a survey to rangers from across Africa and from that pulled together various focus points as to what is needed in the ultimate all-around ranger boot. From that we give you the African Ranger, a boot designed by rangers for rangers. Follow our journey through social channels or contact us for further information. And so yeah, the difference there is it's built on a wedge sole. It's built with three main focus areas, comfort, durability, and affordable. The wedge sole is designed to grip while the soft rubber compound keeps the ranger quiet when walking through the African bush. Nice. Toe, heel, and eyelet area manufactured with a double layer of 2.2 millimeter full grain leather for added durability. Heel and toe stiffeners are added for more durability, support, and protection. Soft leather collar and tongue for comfort and weight reduction. A steel shank, heavy duty hooks and eyelets, insole secured to the upper with double stitch, 2.2 millimeter braided nylon cord, can be resold, stitched down construction. For the African Ranger, they use the STC last. It's a wide fit that offers a roomy and rounded toe box. The sole is the OR sole designed for a combination of grip, comfort, and speed. It's a genuine rubber and of a softer feel to provide comfort underfoot. All right, so yeah, so that's a, a little bit about the African Ranger. Yeah, again, yeah, it kind of looks like the Razorback, just a little shorter. Yeah, it still has the padding at the top here, which is cool. It's got a different back heel stay. On the Razorback, it's got a standard heel strip. So this is the Razorback, and this is their flagship boot, so it's a great option. And the Crazy Horse Leather is a winner as well. All right, so according to Jim Green, yes, these do fit true to Brannock. So true to size and standard wide fit for those longer days out adventuring. So yes, I do concur. I wouldn't size down for these. These do appear to fit true to size, especially if you have a higher volume foot, it's gonna fit that wide toe box. They say once broken in, this will hopefully become your, your go-to outdoor boot. And Jim Green recommends a suede cleaner and beeswax to condition these boots to protect these boots and to waterproof them. They emphasize that these boots are not waterproofed yet. And, uh, Jim Green sent me some footage and some images of his African Rangers that he wore for seven months. And he showed me before and after cleaning and conditioning. 
So they look really good, all beeswaxed up. Speaking of beeswax, I just did a video on this. This is called The Right Stuff, and this is a Canadian-based uh, beeswax brand. And I use these to condition my grant stones in Waxy Commander, and I'm very impressed with the outcome. It's an incredible wax, all organic, no synthetic anything added to that. And when the time comes to wax these, I'm definitely going to use my Right Stuff beeswax leather conditioner. I have a promo code for this stuff, 10% uh, off for all my viewers. So uh, I will leave that in the description below. So check that out. I don't get any kickbacks, but I'm, they're, they're a small family run company, very small. And I do believe in supporting small batch makers like this. And so go give the right stuff a look if you're in the market for beeswax. So let's look at the boots themselves. So let's lace them up. All right. So I like the choice of green laces with these. They really pop against the tan slash sand colored fudge leather. Now, I don't know where the leather was sourced or anything like that. But there's what they look like laced up. So yeah, it's got uh, what appears to be similar to like a honey lug sole on the bottom. And yes, it's gonna be stitched down construction. I believe the sole is gonna be bond welted to the leather midsole there. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of padding, especially in the ankle area, which is which is typical for hiking boots. Yeah, the toe is structured, which is nice. It appears that it, it's been double stitched down, 360 degree stitch down welt. Very nice. The sole is Jim Green proprietary. Um, it's also got a Jim Green tag right here on the side. Yeah, so the tongue is padded, nice thick tongue there. And the tongue is fully gusseted, as you can see here. Fully gusseted tongue. Yeah, the insole doesn't feel like it, it's gonna offer like premium support like, like I'm used to, but it's still, it's still a, a nice, comfortable insole. I could tell these boots are gonna be very comfortable for nature hiking. It's got a suede leather lining stitched in at the base that will grip your ankle for for ankle support there made in south africa uk8 us9 yes yeah, so this tab on the back is a pull tab that's an interesting pull tab normally it's a loop but in this case it's just a tab that you you grip onto um, the rough outside would face your thumb for gripping all right so i actually got these on amazon prime they came very quick and the cost was 200 bucks. So on Amazon, these are listed for 189.99. And those shipped with Amazon Prime, I got them in two business days. It doesn't get any more convenient than that. And so what that means is you can buy, and if the size doesn't work out, easy exchange. Everybody uses Amazon these days. And so that is a sweat-free, hassle-free process for sure. So anyways, for $200, I'm very impressed. If you needed a pair of adventure boots, something that you were looking to put through the ringer, probably walk through, stomp through some rivers in, uh, hike to waterfalls in, maybe step into the waterfall in, something that isn't gonna break the bank that you're not worried about you know, putting to the test, I'd say that this is an absolute solid choice for sure. Um, I'm very impressed with the boot and the quality of the boot at this price point. I will leave links to the videos uh, Rose Anvil and Carl Morawski did in the description below. So check those out as well. So far, I'm very impressed. I'm gonna get these on and I'm gonna start wearing these and I will do a follow-up video after I've given these a solid wear and a solid run. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. What do you think about these Jim Green boots? I am impressed. Again, for 200 bucks, I think that's a phenomenal value for what you're getting here. Is this gonna be the same level of boot as say Alden or Viberg or Truman or Grantstone or anything like that? No, this is gonna be a, a little bit more industrialized, a little bit more streamlined production. They're not going for looks. They're not going for opulence. They're not going for like that timeless boot. They're going for the utilitarian rugged boot. This is more of a tool than it is a clothing item, I would say. And so if you are a, a forest ranger, definitely they made these for you. If you are going hiking anytime soon and you want a good pair to hike in that you can use and abuse and not have to worry about, this is definitely the pair for you. So anyways, what do you think about these boots? Please leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.